Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to say is about the new technology fund for prediction and monitoring of landslide. Several parts will be included in my presentation. Firstly, we mentioned something about landslide phenomenon. Landslide in Fushun Open Pit coal mine in China. This is the largest open pit coal mine in China, even in the Asia. It's founded in 1904. About the 100 landslide happened in the history. And uh, this is a landslide in Jinchuan Nikko open pit mine in China. In 1966 to 1990, a lot of landslide happened in this open pit mine. And a 100 meter long and a six meters wide. This is the world's largest nick open pit mine. And you can see that it's a very big landslide. Here we show the two process of landslide. This is movement characteristics of a landslide in the river bank. Also, we show the another process of the landslide happened in Beijing. From two cases of landslide process, we know that Every landslide, the process of a sliding should obey the Newton force theory. The second law of a Newton's theory is very important. So this is the essential conditions, but also the uh, sufficient conditions landslide. But for the Newton second law, uh, still some problem uh, existed for the landslide. First, when is a Newton force produced? So the Newton law couldn't tell you the answer. The second problem is what is the mark before sliding. That means before sliding, there is something, some phenomenon happened. And uh, the third, how long is the time uh, for the warning? That means how long is the time between the mark and the landslide sliding. So, those three problems are very, very important for, for the landslide research. <clears throat> for these purposes, we make the physical modeling of a new force variation. You can see these curves to show the process of landslide. And uh, those curve uh, can be divided in the three parts. The first part is the deformation stage. In this part, in this stage, the Hawke's law should be obeyed. And after that, for sliding, after sliding, the moving stage, those stage should obey the Newton's law. But very, very important is that the Phillips law, how to 
changed from the Hawke's law to the Newton's law. That means how to uh, <clears throat> change from the deformation stage to the moving stage. So this process, uh, we should describe, describe by the another law, means the failure's law. So if we know the failure's law, we can have a very good prediction uh, correctly for the landslide. So failure's law parallelly uh, to the Hawke's law and Newton's law. Due to failure's law is very potent, so, so we should uh, set up the failure's law. And uh, <clears throat> failure's law we set up in 2017. The first, first law, the Newton force occurred before sliding. That means we answered the first question, when the Newton force occurred. If a uh, new force occurred before sliding, we can monitor, monitor the new force variation. The new force can be the parameters of uh, prediction of the landslide. So this is the first law. The second law, the drop. The drop occur at the moment of a sliding. So the second law, to tell you that. The third law, how long is the time for landslide warning? So this formula has been reasoned uh, from the Newton's law. So uh, <clears throat> those formula tell us the time for prediction related to the mass, the deformation, and the Newton force. So that's a very important. Uh, three laws can be called the failure's law. This describes how to change from the deformation stage to the moving stage. How to change from the Hawke's law to the Newton's law. So this is a failure's law. And uh, another part we should set up a, a monitoring system for Newton force monitoring. We use uh, this uh, uh, monitoring system to measure the process of a Newton force variation. And uh, from the variation of the Newton force in the process of the landslide, uh, we to prove the failure's law is correct or not. So the system is very, very important. So what parameters for landslide prediction should be monitored? According to analysis in uh, above, we know that the Newton force variation uh, is a very important parameters. The Newton, what is a Newton force? Newton force is a sliding surface equal to the sliding force reduce resistant force. Resistant force means the friction force. So this is a, a <clears throat> very important definition. And what is the influence factors, including the rock types, joints, water table, rainfall, mining, it's uh, central. All of the factors to give influence to the Newton force variation. And uh, uh, three, the hard working of the 
more than 10 years, we set up a system uh, of monitoring for landslide, uh, the, for uh, monitoring the new dam force variation in the sliding. Uh, <clears throat> The system to show in the uh, uh, in these uh, uh, figures, the first figure to show the intelligent monitoring automatically in network. Yeah, you can see the center part have the landslide, and uh, a system crossed uh, a sliding surface, and uh, in the top. We have free pressure there, and also sensor at the top of uh, uh, anchors. So <clears throat> you know that if the landslide uh, sliding, the sensors can give a lot of information uh, to the satellite. Satellite reflected the information to the center uh, in the laboratory. In the laboratory, we set up the date processing uh, equipment and uh, to give a new then force uh, a variation curves to show in the screen. And uh, every users can see the curves uh, those curves to show the variation of the landslide. The, uh, the figure here to show uh, uh, the systems uh, in the central control room in Beijing. And uh, the bottom figure to show uh, the NPR boat and anchor, and also about the field equipment there. And in this system, the key technology for new reinforcement monitoring, including the key equipment and the key material. Key equipment, uh, including the mechanical sensors and also satellite light so the communication and uh, between uh, satellite and uh, monitoring sensors information. And uh, key materials, very important, the NPR boat and the anchor. Uh, we will uh, explain the NPR boat and anchor later. And uh, this is a key equipment for new force monitoring. Uh, in the field, uh, including the sensing, restore, and the emission, and also the uh, transmission uh, from the Beidou uh, uh, satellite, and uh, also including the core electronic parts. This is a uh, key parts, key equipment for new force monitoring in the field. And uh, also we should mention something about the key material, uh, NPR cable. Uh, super properties of the NPR cable. What is the NPR? NPR means negative person ratio cable. That means the cable is made of uh, 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 the NPR steel. What is the mean? Uh, the NPR steel. NPR steel means uh, if we have a tension force at uh, at the uh, uh, the cable uh, of uh, NPR, the diameter uh, become the larger and not become the thinner. If the common steel. Uh, if you have a tension force at the two ends of a cable, uh, uh, the diameter become a, a thinner, a thinner than broken, so naked. Uh, 
the necking, uh, uh, but for NPR, no necking phenomenon. So this special cable have a very, very special properties, for example, which can bear the large deformation. Uh, and uh, the second special properties is about the constant resistance. That means during the large deformation process, uh, still keep the constant resistance. That means the strength uh, doesn't uh, uh, reduce. So this is very important. And uh, another uh, point is that the energy absorption, uh, uh, just like uh, to show the figure here, the, the error, error uh, 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 it, it means the energy absorption. So that during the sliding the line slide, uh, the keyboard doesn't broken. In this way, uh, you can monitor the all of information during the sliding, uh, before sliding, after sliding. Uh, very important is that the moment of a sliding, the information can be known. From the whole process information, we can uh, analysis and then give a very good prediction. <clears throat> and also to use the variation curves of a Newton force, we can prove the failure law uh, is a uh, good or not, is correct or not. So this is the behavior of the NPR anchor compared with uh, uh, international famous uh, anchors. Uh, you, you know, this is uh, uh, Australia Rofax and uh, which compare the 300 millimeters deformation. And uh, this is the Kanaga combo Combo can bear the large deformation of 150 millimeters. And uh, you, you can s s see the three curves to show the NPR, three types of uh, NPR anchors, and uh, uh, have the different, very high uh, 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 strength, resistance, and uh, also to show uh, which can bear very large deformation and uh, even one meter or two meters. So that's very important. So those three types of the anchors can suitable fitting for uh, the, the uh, feeding for the monitoring, the process, whole process of slide. So that's a very important material. And uh, <clears throat> what material can make those a special uh, bolt and anchor? So the steel uh, is very important. You can still see this steel is very high yield strength and a very uh, high el elongation rate. Uh, we, we, can, we can see this is a common, common material the uh, steel which have very small uh, yield uh, strain, uh, very, uh, not very high, the yield strains. So uh, the elongation rate, that means uh, uh, strain uh, for yield is about uh, three to five percent. And uh, for uh, NPR, you can see black one. Black one is a uh, uh, strain is about the 37, uh, so very, very good. And for the red color one, it's about the near 60%. And for blue one, uh, the strain is about the near the 70. So uh, those uh, NPR boat is very, very special, which can bear the large deformation. So, what is a super property 
for NPR. NPR effect, we just mentioned that those material, when we make the tension test, and before test, the diameter to show in those curves, and after test, the diameter become larger, is not to become the thinner. So this is very important. And another super property is a constant resistance uh, uh, doesn't change with a large deformation. And uh, also to show uh, the energy absorption, the red color, that means to show the energy absorbing properties. Uh, what is the dynamic loading properties, uh, especially for impact test? Uh, that means when impact uh, force uh, acting, still can keep uh, 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 constant resistance and with large deformation. Uh, this is very important. So. Uh, those special boat and the special people listed in the book Rock Burst Support. Uh, this is a reference book, Rock Burst the Support, uh, in, uh, published in the Canada. Uh, also is a pit guy rooted, written by the International Authority and the top scientist, uh, Peter Kaiser. Uh, who is an uh, expert in rock burst and also academic of Academy of the Engineering in Canada. And uh, in this book, uh, the NPR cable named in the her boat. And uh, in this book, to list the uh, 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 26 tap of the anchors and uh, uh, her boat, uh, uh, this cable is uh, very special uh, according to the Rockbird's uh, support reference book. Uh, this is uh, uh, energy absorption properties is the, very, is the best. And uh, this is the central room uh, uh, situation. Uh, in, in Beijing. And uh, this is a, a system demonstration in Beijing lab. And to give the date every uh, hours, and according to the date, we can show uh, the curve, uh, the Newton force variation with the time, those curves to show uh, the process of the sliding. Uh, informations and uh, yeah yes yeah, so this is uh, uh, very shortly uh, uh, demonstration to show how to work for the, those uh, terms and uh, application cases we use this uh, system and to have many cases uh, monitoring points and after now, we set up a, a point, uh, 543 points has been monitored in our country. And uh, this is a distribution in China. According to the mining curves, we monitor the, from the uh, cases we show above. Uh, we have an analysis to give a prediction modes and the three types of modes have been set up. Firstly, uh, if the Newton force variation to show with the time to show uh, the horizontally, the flight, the curves, that means it's stable. If the Newton force goes up with the time, that means potential sliding. And if the drop, drop happened, that means 
sliding mode. That's a, a, after several hours sliding must be happen. And a cracking mode. If if the neutron force go up in rapidly, so, uh, uh, so uh, those mark the show uh, a cracking happened in the field. So according to uh, the, the information monitored in the field about the Newton force variation. So we summarize the four uh, modes uh, uh, to analysis of uh, uh, the, the prediction, the full prediction of a landslide. Uh, firstly, we tell you some stories happened about landslide in Nanfen open pit iron mine. Nanfen open pit iron mine, uh, this is about the, uh, the uh, uh, this is a map of a uh, uh, Nanfen open pit uh, iron mine areas, uh, which is the largest in the China, uh, but also uh, in Asia. Uh, you see the high height of the landslide, uh, uh, the, the slope is about the 700 meters, and uh, uh, the angle uh, of a slope is about a 45 degree. So uh, this area has been monitored, and uh, we have uh, several uh, hundred uh, monitoring point in this area. And uh, we can tell you some uh, landslide story happened here. Uh, in 2010, in, in 2010, July 31, uh, one landslide happened. You can show Show the uh, show this process about the new day force uh, variation with the time. You can you can see the red curves, red curves to show uh, the new day force goes up. Uh, that means to show the new day law, the Fourier law, the first law. First law means uh, the new day force uh, produced uh, before sliding. So this is the deformation stage, and the Newton force goes up here, and then the drop, then the drop, the drop is a second law. To when sliding, before sliding, the drop happened. So this is the second law. Uh, once a time you turn the top point as the, the, the moving point, once the time. How long for the time we show it is later according to the date we show the later. So this curve to show the uh, the second law, the first law and second law is correct. Uh, the first law to show uh, the new dim force produced before sliding. Uh, and uh, the second law means a drop happened uh, during the moment of the slide. So this is a uh, uh, very important uh, uh, the curve, and uh, this is a uh, uh, the situation of a landslide happened, and uh, this is a crack. Yeah, we uh, we just uh, show the curve. You see the curve here, crack. When the Newton force goes up uh, steeply, that means the crack happened in the field. So we can show. The crack, crack happened here. And uh, this is a section of the geolog geology uh, section to show the, uh, the material and the crack and uh, a different point uh, of monitor. Another landslide happened in the 2011, uh, October 5th in Nanfen Open Pit area. And uh, in those areas, you see the many points are here. And to show the curve, you can 
the red curve, red color curves to show the, uh, the goes up. Goes up means the, the, uh, the potential sliding. And uh, this curve to show, uh, to uh, prove that the first law of a failure law, the Newton force here, Newton force produced uh, before slide. Uh, this is, uh, uh, and uh, then second, second law, second law the dropping, dropping happened. Uh, uh, dropping had uh, uh, the moment before, uh, uh, dropping happened during the, uh, the sliding, uh, when sliding, uh, dropping happened. Before sliding, before sliding uh, happened. So, uh, what's the time between uh, the, the dropping and the sliding? Uh, we can show you later. Uh, that date to, to, to prove uh, the third law for failure uh, is correct or not. So, this is uh, uh, a story. And uh, uh, this is uh, errors for this uh, for landslide at this time. And uh, this is a section. And uh, another uh, landslide prediction story happened in 2013, uh, February 23rd. And uh, uh, two landslides happened. Uh, the, the, uh, three, uh, two days later, in February 25th, another happened. So this is uh, uh, two small landslides that happened uh, closely, one uh, followed by another. You, you can see the red curve, red color curves to show uh, the Newton force goes up. That means the first law is correct. And before sliding, the uh, Newton force produced. And during the sliding, the dropping happened. What's the time between the, the, the new, uh, the drop, uh, the uh, dropping and uh, to the sliding? Uh, we can show the data later. You, you can see uh, this is the first line slide. And then goes up, and then dropping. Dropping then uh, several hours later, uh, uh, landslide happened. So this is uh, uh, to show the process of a sliding, the variation of uh, uh, Newton force uh, variation very very clearly. So this is a, a, a picture, a photo for the first landslide. And then another one. This is a second. This is second. This is the first. Uh, This is a section of a geology. Uh, another uh, story can prove the failure law according to our system is about the, uh, the yellow soil, yellow color soil slope. And the above, we, about Nanfen Arman is a metamorphic rock. So it's a different type of rocks. This is a section for monitoring, and this is a cable, an NPR cable. And this is a sliding force. Uh, and here we give a pressure sensor here. And uh, then we can make, make a process uh, of the monitoring the Newton force variation with the time. You can see here. And the red color force goes up. That means uh, the Newton force produced uh, before sliding. And uh, dropping, dropping. Before the moment of sliding, the dropping happened. So we want to know uh, the difference, how long uh, between the drop and uh, the sliding of a slide. So that's a very important. That means we, we can use that data to prove the Newton force uh, 
the the filius law, the third law about time of warning, and this is a crack. Crack the closely, and when the landslide happened, so the deformation, the crack should be closed. At the top, it shows the picture here. And uh, this is a, a, a short-term prediction for landslide. How long is the warning before the landslide? We show uh, the 13 cases for landslide. Uh, you can see this is uh, uh, how large for the mass, the Newton force dropping, uh, the time for the Newton force dropping and the sliding time, and uh, or how many people escaped according to the uh, warning. And uh, this is the equipment uh, uh, retreated from the dangerous area. And uh, warning before sliding. According to the date, we give, uh, you can see the several hours. And the short is before, uh, what, how long is the warning time between the drop, the dropping happened. And uh, uh, and the sliding, so uh, the shortest uh, time is about four hours. The longest is uh, fifteen hours. So uh, those date to prove the third law for landslide uh, is correct. And uh, in the future, in the future, we can make the more point to prove the three laws for Phillips law is uh, uh, correct. And uh, the future system also can have another application uh, for Newton force monitoring uh, for active fault related to the earthquake prediction. So uh, this is uh, our uh, uh, thinking ideas. So the conclusions. A new system for monitoring the predictions landslide has been well de developed. The date of the new force variation can be automatically measured. Dropping of the new force is a mark for occurrence of a geo disasters. Based upon this mark, the warning criteria as a prediction method are put forward and the accuracy of the prediction of a geo disasters have been proved in the pra uh, practice. So in this uh, lecture, we have set up the theory for Phileas law. It's connected to maintain uh, the deformation stage to the moving stage. That means the Phileas law connected the, between the Hooke's law and the Newton's law. And also the Phileas law is uh, essential condition and uh, sufficient condition for prediction of the landslide. So we use the system to uh, make the several kind, hundred points uh, to receive a lot of information to prove that the furious law is correct, is uh, reasonable. So this is what I'm going to, uh, uh, this is what I mentioned for this lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.